Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Raka Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity are risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalawam. To the Akiyam and to the Akwath. That'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratiza. That is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakadash. And um, another in transit. You know, rolling in the spirit to feed the lambs of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Alright? Um, once again, um, encouraging the brothers and a few sisters of ours that believe in this truth. You know, mainly the hopeful elect. You know, because that's who that's who the um, that's who the Lord says is coming for is his elect. You know? We can get that in the book of um uh, Matthew chapter twenty four and verse uh, thirty one. But I read verse thirty, you know. You got to give yourself the diligence, man, you know, to make your calling an election sure. As it says in the book of 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 10. All right? The scriptures tell you in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 15 <coughs> that the scriptures, the scriptures are able to make you wise unto salvation. Okay? So this is the book of um, Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 30. And it says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Those clouds are talking about chariots, okay? The 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 the, the what, what the world ignorantly calls UFOs, okay? They're the, they're the vehicles of our salvation. Adawan Rataza, you know, Lord willing, I'm a part of that precious number of the hopeful elect, you know. Um. This, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And here is the point. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the from the four winds, okay, all across the earth, from one end of heaven to the other. Okay, so the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is coming back to redeem his elect, man, the, the elect of Israel. Okay? He's coming back for all of those who've repented and, and, and turned from their wicked ways and came back to their heritage and Hebrew Israelite. You know, the Lord is not coming back for black people. Okay? The Lord is coming back for his people tells you that in the book of Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21 and he shall save his people and she shall and she shall have a, 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 a son meaning Mary and he shall save his people okay 
the, the name of the name of our Lord is Yahweh Shai in the Paleo Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, the Lashawan Gadash, the Holy Tongue. Okay? And his name is a Noman Omen. Okay? Yahweh Shai. Yah meaning he. Hawashai means saves. He saves or deliver. He's the savior. That's why it says, and he shall save his people because his name is an action. You know, when you go into Norman Omen, it means name prediction. So that's what is predicted that the Lord is going to save his people, redeem his people. Okay? It tells you that no man will buy you when you read Deuteronomy chapter. When you read uh, the curses and the very last one in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68, it says, and no man shall buy you. When you go into that word buy, it means redeem. See, only so you know, no Malcolm X couldn't do it, no Martin Luther couldn't do it, no John Master J. Okay, none of them couldn't do it. No Marcus Garvey, only the Lord, Yahweh Shai, will be able to redeem you from the hands of your enemies. Okay? So yeah, Matthew 24 and 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Okay? So, when the Lord come, he's going to gather his elect from one end of heaven, even unto the other. Okay? And how is he going to do that? Let's go to the book of... Um, Isaiah Isaiah uh, Let's go to the book of Isaiah Chapter 26 If I could, if I could get it to come up Bear with me here For the book of Isaiah, chapter 26. Round right about uh 22nd verse. It says, uh, Isaiah chapter 20, uh 6 and verse 20. It says, Come, my people, into thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as if as it were for a little moment until the ignorant nation be overpassed. So you're gonna go up into those chariots. Okay? That's how that's how the elect is gonna be saved. You're gonna go up into those chariots. Okay? The vehicles of our salvation. Alright? I don't want to design. Lord willing I'm a part of the elect. You know? I continue to pray. Because you know many are called but few are chosen, as the scriptures say. You wouldn't know if you chosen until you were on those 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 uh those chariots. That's when you know that you're chosen. When you're on the chariot. Okay, so that's why you gotta keep praying and giving diligence. Okay, the, the scripture tell you Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Okay? So you got to give diligence, man, to make your calling and election sure. Okay, again, 2 Peter 1 and chapter 10. Slack here in verse 10. 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 10. Right? So, you got to give diligence, man. Um, Isaiah 26 and 20 again, it says, Come, my people, into thou, into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed what's that talking about the Lord's anger the Lord's wrath the Lord's fury that's going to come upon the earth okay through those um, ICBM missiles when they begin to be shot into the ends of the earth, as it tells you in the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 16, and verse 13. Okay? Verse 21 says, Isaiah 26 and 21, it says, For behold, the Lord coming out of his place, 
to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. So, this is what it is, man. The Lord is going to gather his elect, you know, when the Lord returns, you know. During the time of World War III, all of these things is going to be going on. You know, scriptures say, uh, uh, Luke 12, chapter 12, and um, verse 49, I've come, I've come to send fire. I've come to send fire on earth. And what will I, if it, if it already be kindled? Okay? That's what the Lord said. I've come to send fire on earth. But what will I if it's already kindled? Here it goes right here. Luke chapter 12 and verse 49. I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? Okay. So it's, a, it's going, uh, according to prophecy, it's going to be already kindled. Because World War Three is going to be in full effect. Okay. Well, it, it, it tells you. After the tribulation of those days, then shall appear the Son of Man. Okay? But the, the fire is going to already be kindled, man. So that's why it would behoove you to seek the Lord, you know, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he's near. Okay? Clearly, there's going to become a time when you're not going to be able to find him. Right? The scriptures speak about a time of the famine of the word. Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. Okay? So there's a time that's coming where you're not going to be able to find the men of the Lord out on the highways and the byways as, as they were commanded to do. You know, because during the tribulation, they're not going to be able to come out to do, to do, to do, uh, to preach and prophesy on the highways. Okay? This is the book of Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, said the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor of thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So there's a time coming that you're not going to be able to hear the words of the Lord. The internet is going to be down, okay? You're not going to be able to search and find uh, 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 the men of Great Millstone on your on your YouTube platform, okay. So, the best bet, your best bet, is to try to get this word now, okay. The scripture tell you how uh, the word, this word is precious, man. From ancient time until now, this word is precious. All right, that's why everybody can't get this. This is not for everybody. Everybody ain't gonna understand this. The spirit of the Lord has to be rested upon you. So this word is precious, man. Okay? It is what it is, man. So hey, man. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end it right there, man. Hopefully you were edified. You know? Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord go forth, and in your security he shall be destroyed. So hey, you've been warned, man. The scripture tells you Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. Son of man, I have made you a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, give them warning from me. So we had to warn you, brothers and sisters. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I'm going to go ahead and give all honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to all the brothers that are pushing this truth and truth and in sincerity. Until the next time, Lord, we're not a one of us. Shalom.